There's only two reasons that men and women differ. One is cultural, and the other is biological. And if you minimize the cultural differences, you maximize the biological differences. So, I know everyone's shocked when they hear this. This isn't shocking news. People have known this in the scientific community for at least 25 years. And it's been replicated in the last month three times in three separate samples, including in Science, which is the world's greatest scientific magazine by a large margin. And it isn't a small effect. It's a huge effect. But, so, but, excuse me, what does it mean? Does it mean that Scandinavian men and women are having more difficulties meeting each other, talking to each other than other places? No, not necessarily, but it does mean that there are reasons for differences in um, participation rates in different occupations that aren't a consequence of socialization.